Hi folks, Ben Haggett here. I am the Ala Prima Prashad guy. I design these boxes, build these boxes. This one, this Prashad box is, I call the Bitterroot. It's a 10 by 12 box. It has room for four wet panels in the lid. It has some drawers for storing paint and other supplies. And in a minute here, we're gonna set it up on the tripod, take a look at it, run through some of the features. Uh, this box, as it sits right now, uh, five pounds, 10 ounces. It's just about five inches tall, four and seven eighths. It's 11 inches this way, and it's 12 and five eighths inches this way. So hang on and we'll get set up and have a look. All right. Okay, so I've set the box up on the tripod. Um, like I said, I'm inside today, just for a little more control. Um, make things clear, but this is how I would set it up outside. You can see I've got that book bag hanging that I would carry the box in, and I'm hanging that from the tripod. There's a little clip right here. Very nice for counterweighting, improves the stability. First of all, opening the box, you just grab this little D-ring in front, pull down, door opens, box is open, here's your lid, four Wet panels in here, two back to back, two back to back. There's a divider here we'll take a look at in a minute. I'm gonna open it up. Notice how I grab it over here on the side. I don't grab it back here. Let's, you know, you can get away with that, but also the hinges are quite strong. So that means you gotta grab the box with one hand. Otherwise, you're just gonna be pushing everything around. So I grab the box with one hand and steady it, and I grab on the side and I open it up. And there it is open. This is the panel holder. We'll take a look at that. Here are your drawers on each side. This is a little auxiliary pallet here. It's removable. And here's your other drawer. A couple of things in here. Just a little cup that I sourced. I throw those in. Um, useful for medium or sort of emergency brush cleaner maybe. And there's a little D-ring that can be used to clip on the side of the box, for example. Um, could be useful for uh, hanging a brush washer, for example. You can see some notches for where you can rest brushes. There are also brush holes in here. You can set brushes. Look at this, the drawers themselves, they have a stop, right? So, as you pull them out, when you get to the end, you know, they'll, they'll stop there. But you can remove the drawers pretty easily. Okay. So like a lot of drawers in your kitchen and stuff, um, you're just, you just tip up and it will come out. All right. I'm not a left-hander, so this will be awkward probably, but okay, there we go. So back in, pull out, has a stop, boom. Put that guy back in, all right? If you're using him. You don't need to use this, of course, and you can put it over here on this side if you like. Okay, we will take a look at the uh, panel holder, how the panel holder system works. It's pretty easy to use, pretty straightforward. Um, first, we gotta grab a panel. I've just stuck some stuff in here. I'll grab this one, it's 10 by 12. Just a panel that I cut and made. Open that back up. Okay, so I want to load this up. Let's say I'm going to load it up landscape. Theoretically, the horizontal width of a panel you could use is unlimited. Um, if you got really wide, you can see how if you were working out on the edge, you'd be putting a lot of leverage on this system. What it will take and what it won't, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I've, I've, uh, I think I've seen people do, you know, up to like, 20 inches wide. Certainly like 12 by 16, you should be able to get away with pretty well. You just want to be aware of what you're doing when you're painting out on the edge. If you have a real heavy technique, you might want to pull that back a little and be a little more careful. This is there are two separate components, but your panel is going to hold them all together. I just pulled up on that. It's a spring-loaded system. So this panel is now being squeezed between the top and the bottom. Um, 
you can shove them up. I like to kind of grab the sides and use my thumbs. You know, you can shove them up like that and you can put them back down. You can tap, tap and bang and do what you need to do. Push it back like that. And uh, that is basically how you put your panel in. Um, it can also do portrait for 10 by 12. And in fact, the space you have between top and bottom, if you go all the way, let's scooch these all the way down. So if you have these all the way down and you have that all the way extended, you have um, about 17 and a half inches, if I'm remembering right, in between. So um, 12 by 16 portrait. Yes, you can put that in there. The other function of the panel holder is that it can be used to uh, store brushes. A little black triangle down there is the quiver for the end of your brushes. So what you can do is this piece of rubber between this, besides being able to play fun tunes on, uh, just works to sort of help restrain your brushes. You just have to play around with how you want this to work. But the idea here is that your brushes are going to close down and be held, you know, in the palette um, diagonally, you know. So when you close the lid up, the brushes are going to go like this and be sitting like this. So if you've, this is where you've been mixing paint most likely. And usually you've wiped that down when you're done, right? And your paint is laid out on the edges. So as long as you don't have a big, huge glob of paint here, you should be cool. Um, the brushes are gonna lay like this, right? So when you close the box up, so now the brushes are sitting in there, in that palette area. And hopefully, if you've laid out your paint right, they won't be in the paint, right? So that gives you an opportunity to store your brushes full length in the box. Okay, so here I've just set the box up as though, you know, the way I might set it up if I were painting. Uh, I hung this little guy off the drawer. Um, you could probably hang it off of here, but the closer it is to the box, the more, you know, less leverage you're going to be exerting on things. Just put some palette cups in there. There's that little cup. I stuck some brushes in the uh, brush holes. You got one sitting in there. Pencil. You know, you can keep a palette knife in here. And it will go on some magnets there. I went ahead and stuck some paint in that drawer. That's I'm a right-hander. This is probably how I would set it up. I threw, so I have a, a big white there. And you could jam more stuff in here. This is one, two, seven, 737 mils of various amounts of usage and one uh, bigger white. And there's still room for a bit more stuff in there. So that's the kind of, just to give you an idea of the sort of capacity there. I put a six by eight up in the panel holder. Um, five by seven, you could just catch uh, these with a five inch panel and I just I have a little bungee cord uh, and I keep it hooked through these through a roll of paper towels here and I just hook that on the d-rings for the hand strap this little leather hand strap for carrying and uh, handy you could also hook a shoulder strap there and do the same kind of thing you know, you could just borrow these D-rings. You don't have to displace the strap. Just clip a shoulder strap on and uh, probably carry the box that way. So that is just a basic idea of how I might set it up. I also forgot to point out if you're, this box is symmetrical pretty much. So, you know, like I said, you could put this over here and there are brush holes in there too. So you can have paint on this side, you know, you can set it up however however your handing is, lefty, righty, whatever. So let's suppose I've just painted. This guy here is wet. Um, so I'm gonna be carrying some different sizes here. I have a, a nine by 12 and a 10 by 12 in that slot, back to back. And I'm gonna use the divider 
for this little six by eight. So you can see he's way, way down in there. That's pretty hard to get at. Um, but you don't really have to worry about that. The, uh, the divider has a little stop. So if you can reach in there and grab him, I just did, and just pull it straight out. The divider slides up and down on that metal track. And the key thing about it is you just straight up and straight down and it will stay in that little track and he will pull that up. He'll pull that panel up with it. So that's a lot easier to grab, all right? And as far as uh, spacing on these slots, just to illustrate this, I grabbed these two nice source techs, good guys, uh, nice stuff. This is a uh, gator board with linen and I've sized the slots to accept um, two of these panels back to back. So I'll squeeze these in. All right. Okay. So two panels back to back with gator board, which is 3 16 of an inch and uh, linen plus the linen on it. And those will fit in there. Uh, obviously one eighth panels fine. If you get up to one quarter inch thick, you're going to be limited to one panel per, all right? Or you could do a quarter and an eighth. That would be okay. So seven sixteenths, a little bit over seven sixteenths is what I sized the slots at. That is kind of the setup. Um, if you're curious, the, uh, you can have, you know, you could paint it quite a few different angles, you know, just depends what you're comfortable with. Uh, because this lid here will basically go totally flat, which opens up some possibilities. If you're a watercolorist, um, you could do something like this. Maybe you could work. Let's, let's imagine I was doing watercolor. You know, you could maybe do something like this here. And you like to real wet into wet approach with that watercolor. You know, you could work with opening up a travel palette, maybe size it so that it's stored in the lid, like, you know, the ones I'm talking about, like those little Kramers or whatever. And, uh, and then open it up here and then put your, put say a watercolor block here, um, or tape, you could tape to a panel or you could just use a block. And this panel holder will do fine holding the block. Have that set up here so you could be doing this. So there, it does have some, you know, some crossover potential. I do not think of it, nor do I try and sell it as a watercolor box, but just trying to give you some ideas of different ways you might go about uh, accomplishing that goal. If you wanted to be going back and forth, do some oil, do some watercolor, should be possible. I'll just demonstrate quickly how I would be breaking down if I had just finished painting. Okay, first of all, I can talk briefly about pallet care. I like wood, I like wood pallets. Um, they don't break, they're light. Uh, they're quite neutral and not so reflective. I lay out my paint on the edges. I mix in the middle. When I'm done, I take something relatively dull. The main thing about wood is that separates it from like glass. Glass is easier to clean, there's no doubt. You can go at it with a razor knife or whatever. Wood, you just want to use something relatively dull. This is just an old palette knife. Um, so I'd scrape off my excess, get most of it off. And then whatever I'm using for my last brush cleaning, paper towel, just rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. You're rubbing, if you're, I'm assuming you're using oil paint here. Um, with oil paint, you're going to be rubbing linseed oil and pigment or alkyd and pigment into this palette again and again and again. And it, they develop a very nice neutral gray, very smooth patina as they get seasoned. And that's really nice to work on. My other paint, I'm just leaving that alone. I, that can just sit there. Um, the box is going to close up fine. It's not going to get messed with. But this central part where I'm mixing, I'm going to wipe that down. All right. Then it's just a matter of going about it how you want to go about it. 
Um, I would tend to first put my panel away. So let's just pull this up like so. Tip the panel out, tip the panel out. Then, it, you know, tip it a little bit like that. Just so you can kind of see what's going on. In this case, I have a 9 by 12 in there already. So this is wet. I'm going to flip it around and go in the back of that other one. Okay, so that's put away. And for a lot of the other stuff, it can be kind of nice to flatten the box out before you put it away, assuming you're painting at kind of an angle. Again, I got my paint in there. If I mixed on that, I'd probably wipe that down too. If you've gotten a bunch of paint around on the edge, just take a second. And these parts, you know, they need to meet together. So if, over time, if you get a bunch of paint building up, that's going to get in the way. And then you're going to start forcing things. And then you might break something. So you don't need to get it perfectly clean. You just need to get it, the worst of it knocked down. So you're not getting big chunks building up. That's a no-no. I do see people, boxes coming back, and people have just left them alone. Oil paint is a pigmented adhesive. You're basically letting a bunch of glue, colored glue, dry all over your box when you do that. And it will build up, it will form big lumps, and start causing problems with how things move. Or don't move, rather. All right. And I'm going to put some brushes away. Closed. Closed. You don't have to be gentle with these things, you know, give them a, sometimes they need a smack. Now, just make sure these little posts are going to go down and keep the drawer from opening up. So, make sure, just check they, they're going up and down before you close up the box. Because you don't want to force anything. It's just nice and smooth, it comes together. Boom, the lid's closed, and you're done. You're ready to take it off the tripod and uh, carry it on home. Put it in your pack, or just carry it by hand. Um, so again, there you go. That is 10 by 12 bitter root, and uh, how I would set it up, how I would take it down. I'm sure. So that's it. Ben Haggett, all of primapashad.com, and uh, stay safe out there. Hopefully this will seem really outdated pretty soon, but stay safe, do your social distancing. Painting is not a bad way to do that. If you got safe places you can set up and work, and otherwise you could set up inside like this and work on a nice still life, which man, I really need to get painting. All right, take care out there everybody, bye-bye.